Now, sometimes it can be hard for us to know what to pray. Even if we want to pray, sometimes it's hard to know how we pray. But I think Jacob's model of prayer in chapter 32 of Genesis is a very good model uh, for us to pray. So look, for example, at verse 9. He begins his prayer by thinking about God, thinking about who God is, God's character, uh, the names of God. He's the God of uh, his father, Abraham, God of Isaac. He's the Lord. He starts off by praying, reminding himself of who God is. And then once he's done that, uh, verse 10, he reminds himself of who he is, that he is unworthy of God's kindness and faithfulness. He knows he's not a big shot. He doesn't come to God out of his own goodness, out of his own qualities, his own morality. He comes by grace. He reminds himself that he is unworthy when he comes to God. He reminds himself of who he is in light of God's majesty. Uh, then he recalls God's past grace. Verse 10, I had only my staff when I crossed this Jordan, but now I've become two camps. He remembers all that God has done for him in the past, all of God's kindness, all of his answers to prayer, all of the good things God has done for him. And that's what leads him to want to pray for the future, to want to pray in his current circumstances. Then he says, verse 11, save me, I pray. As he recalls all of God's past grace, all of God's past kindness, that's what leads him to want to pray for the future. It's God's past faithfulness that calls us uh, to pray in the present. And then verse uh, 12, he reminds himself, he prays in a specific passage, a specific verse, something that God has said, something from the Bible. He says, uh, as surely as uh, you may be prosper and will make your descendants like the sand of the sea. God had promised, I will bless you, Jacob. I'll make your descendants uh, as like the sand on the sea, on the beach. He's promised that. And Jacob is praying in a promise of God, praying in a Bible verse. Uh, he reminds himself of who God is. Uh, he reminds himself of how unworthy he is. He looks at all that God has done in the past. He prays for the future and he prays in a specific verse. That's a great model for us to pray if we're stuck uh, thinking about how we ought to pray.